Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to build a simple flyer. Um, right off the bat, uh, there are a lot of complex elements to building a good flyer. Um, and I guess start. I should start off with the terminology. Um, the common way to refer to any aircraft or any flyer in SM is uh, F-L-Y-E-R, not F-L-I-E-R. Um, with that out of the way, uh, there are a lot of components to this that can be somewhat hard to understand, especially when designing one. Um, so I've prepared a simple, uh, not the simplest thing I could have made, but something that demonstrates all of the the fundamentals. Um, if you're wondering what these spinning masses are, these are rotors. They provide gyroscopic precession. If you're wondering why I need that, uh, you should know that springs are evil. Springs need to uh, burn. Uh, so how do we keep an aircraft uh, stable without springs? Well, we use uh, we take advantage of gyroscopic precession. Now, if you don't know what gyroscopic precession is, don't worry about it. I'll make a whole other video detailing inertial control and whatnot. But just know that, like this, um, they are providing a certain amount of resistance to the rate at which I can change my uh, uh, my speed, or the rate it like uh, it it resists it. If I turn this off. Uh, my moment, my momentum persists until it's damped by general resistance. Um, <clears throat> for yaw control, I have uh, just thrusters that vector. For forward and backward control, I have a simple WS converter. Um, if you're wondering how to make the, the one of these, don't worry about it. It's really quite simple it's just some controllers on a loop with one hooked into the uh, seat you can find plenty of these on the workshop they're, they're really not hard to build um, <clears throat> this flyer demonstrates the control system that I've come up with for a lot of aircraft it's by the people that I've taught how to make aircraft before it's been widely used as the standard whether you use uh, however uh, type of keybind layout you choose to use this is the wiring where two and three together is up four and five together is down um, two and three independently is roll four and five independently is pitch uh, and W and S operates like normal so how do you go about building uh, a flyer like this the quadcopter design is very simple, it's very versatile, uh, it's not the highest performance, uh, but it's one of the easiest to balance, so it makes it an all around a very good design. Um, I base my designs off of the rotor size I want to have, typically you want to have a, a pretty aggressive ratio between the two. So you can start out with any square like this where you have pronounced di diagonals as you want. Uh, mark out where you roughly want your like uh, body to be. Maybe you can picture in your head where your components are going to be for uh, control. And then you'd think about the clearances with your rotors. Well, I want one block clearance so that they don't hit the frame. Um, and I want it to be some in some size. Minus one divided by two, get the length, find the center, and go to each other corner on the square and mark it. So now you have the center points where the rest of your rotors are going to go. Uh, build a rough frame based off of that, maybe something like this, and then add the parts as you need. And before you know it, you'll add, you'll, you'll come up with something like this. Um, like I said, this isn't the best design for high performance. If you want to get creative, you can experiment with different designs, different orientations, as you please. 
Uh, there's no real guidebook to how to make an aircraft specifically, uh, though there are different types and they do have uh, common trends. If you want to uh, <clears throat> experiment with this aircraft yourself, maybe reverse engineer it uh, and make others based off of it, uh, I will upload this to the workshop as just simple springless flyer. Um, <clears throat> and I hope uh, that answers a lot of questions and will spark some interest.